welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. I want to see what's going on with my Virgos, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Let's see what's currently going on with my Virgo spirit. Nourishment. Hmm. Show me. So we have fruition. Darkness. Show me spirit blossoming and resilience. So you're coming out, you're coming out of a situation. You're coming out. You are giving to a situation. You are giving to something. Some of you guys, it was giving into, you were giving into insecurities you know, giving into doubt, giving into to fear, but you're coming out of that now. You've taken a lot. You've taken a lot here on your back. There's a lot of weight on your back. What you don't see coming is a life of abundance. What you don't see coming is all of your hard work is going to pay off. You know, what you don't see is everything that... You, Everything's coming to fruition here for you guys. And I see some blossoming happening. I do. I see some blossoming happening here. Now, you guys, there's resilience here. You're back here. You've got a lot of weight here on your back and you've built up some type of resilience. But I feel like you're coming out of a darkness. Yeah. The number seven can be very significant. I have the number 37. I have the number 40. I have the number 18. I have the number 33. I have the number 21 and the number 38 here. Hmm. You know, nourishment is all about feeding the soul, feeding the mind, consumption, consumption of healthy, consumption of healthy living here. I feel like some of you guys, you're just starting to do that again. Like you're just starting to get your health back to back in order. You're just start, you're just getting back into the gym. You're just starting to eat healthier for some of you guys. Some of you guys, you may be actually having some needed procedures, needed surgeries here in this energy. But I'm getting a big energy of you guys, food, feeding what, what you're consuming, making healthier choices here. Because at some point in time, there's a lacking energy of making these healthier choices. And now these healthier choices could be by you guys reading, getting more knowledge into your body, knowledge into your mind, you know, getting healthier foods in your body. You know, some of you guys, you may be borderline hypertension, borderline diabetes here. And because I see all of this consumption here. And now this is healthy nourishment. This is healthy nourishment. If not, some of you guys, you're being called to do just that. You know, and when that nourishment comes in, this is about you guys taking care of yourself, taking care of your well-being. And when that nourishment comes in here, this is also about what, you, what you're consuming. This is also about who you're sharing your body with, who you're sharing your energy with. I feel like a lot of you guys, you're making changes with that. And if you're not, you're being called to do just that. You know, pay attention to your health, pay attention to what you're consuming, massive energy coming through. I see fruition here. I feel like your cup's about to be full. I do. 
I feel like your cup's about to be full here. I'm looking at the birds that's flying around this nest, these fruits and these vegetables here. I see the bees here. What you're bringing to this world? What you're bringing into this world? Some of you guys, there's something here that you're working on. You're working on something for your highest and your greatest good here. And yes, it is going to change your life and it's going to change the world here. Some of you guys are also being called to do just that. Seek out something that in a way that you can make things better for yourself, in a way that you can make this world better here. I feel like you guys are coming out of this darkness. Mm-hmm. This has been a long journey. This has been a long journey. The sun's trying to poke out. The sun's trying to shine here. This is, there's a new day here. I don't know why I've just heard there's a new sheriff in town. Some of you guys, you're the new sheriff in town, but some of you guys, you got somebody new here in your life and they're about order. They're about order. Some, somebody here, this is like your mom moving in with you. But this is to get to get out of a darkness. Are you moving in with your mom? However this goes, I don't know why I'm seeing that. But this is to get you out of a dark place. This is to get you guys back on your feet, get you guys back on the right, on the straight and arrow path. So I feel like a lot of you guys right now, present moment, that's where you're going. You're getting back on track right now, present moment. And look at that blossoming. You know, this is mastering skills here. This is like doing things that you enjoy. This is coming out of your shell. So a lot of you guys right now, present moment, I feel like you are coming out of your shell here, showing the world the real you, your talents and your skills. This is shining a light on your talents and your skills here. But look at, still at all this weight on your back. You're extremely strong. But there's a heavy weight here. There's a heavy weight here that you guys, this is like taking on, you guys have taken on a lot. You've taken on a lot of responsibilities. Other people's problems. I feel like not everything that you've taken on is needed is warranted. I do. I feel like not everything that you guys have taken on is needed or warranted. Not everything that you've taken on is a healthy consumption. Not everything's a healthy consumption here. Massive energy. So let's see. I want to see about this nourishment. Show me this nourishment for my Virgo spirit. So we have see the bigger picture here. Sagittarius energy. Again, it's about what you're consuming. Again, it's about which, where you're at. Some of you guys are in unhealthy environments or you were in unhealthy environments because again, the way nourishment came out, this is telling me this is getting you, getting you out of that, getting you back into alignment here. Full moon in Sagittarius, seeing the bigger picture. There's something more to this. There's something more. I feel like some of you guys, you, your body may be telling you something. Your body's telling you something. You know, you may be experiencing a little bit of stress, depression, anxiety here. You know, that's all something telling you of something that's that you're consuming that's not warranted for you. And your spirit guides want you guys to see the bigger picture. You know, that, that Sagittarius energy is all about adventure. You know, if you're getting back on a healthy, a healthy journey, a healthy path here. You know, some of you guys are being called to do something, to be more adventurous, to do something different. You know, you may be in a, you may be doing an exercise routine and you're doing the same old, same old, same old thing, but this is why you probably don't stick to it because you kind of get worn out with it. You kind of get bored with it, unsatisfied with it. Because when that Sagittarius energy comes out, this is you wanting to feed your soul with something more interesting something more adventurous. So right now, present moment, some of you guys, you may want to do that. And some of you guys, you're trying new things or you're being called to try new things here. You're being called to try new things here. So show me, show me what's coming to fruition. What's coming to fruition for my Virgo spirit. So we have reveal what needs to be seen. Last quarter moon in Scorpio energy. So this is about 
something being revealed, something coming to light here. Mm -hmm. You know, again, there's some things here that is a purging. Some of you guys, this is purging your system. This is purging your system, purging your environment here. You know, this is also about the information that you're consuming. Huh. Sharing some knowledge as well, gathering some knowledge as well to live a better life and to do better for yourself. So some of you guys right now, present moment, you're being called to take this journey, learning, reading, consuming information, because there's something here about being something needs to be revealed, revealing what needs to be seen. You need to see something and others may need to see something as well. But I feel like it's about some, about the well-being. I do. I feel like it's about you guys well-being and other people's well-being. Trying to live a healthier life here, a more fulfilled life. Show me this darkness that my Virgos are coming out of, spirit. So we have honor your feelings here. Your feelings matter. Your feelings matter here. Some of you guys are coming out of depression, coming out of sadness, coming out of a situation that caused you grievances and you know, pure, pure anguish. This is calming your soul. Some of you guys may be doing spiritual retreats. You know, some of you guys, you may, you may, there's a, there's an energy here of starting to take care of yourself, starting to take care of yourself, your well being, spending time in prayer, spending time in meditation. Some of you guys, you have taken up Pilates. Some of you guys, you've taken up yoga. Some of you guys, you've joined a running group. Some of you guys, you may have been downloading certain apps here or watching certain videos here to calm you and to bring, it's like some type of tranquility here because you're coming out of this darkness into a very tranquil energy. Some of you guys may be planning a trip to the desert or planning a trip to the beach. Some of you guys may be going to a foreign country as well. Show me spirit. Show me. It's like looking, seeking healing waters. It's like seeking healing waters or seeking healing land here. Massive energy. Show me this blossoming. So we have assess the situation here and step up and lead. Virgo Capricorn energy coming through. Accessing the situation. So right now, present moment, I feel like this is this has to do with a relationship for some of you guys. You know, I feel like this is a relationship between, this could be a personal relationship or this could be a professional relationship. This could be within a relationship, a, a, a companionship relationship or a work relationship here. That type of energy is coming through. You know, this is also very dynamic around your family. You know, I feel like you guys are blossoming here, but there's a situation here, a personal situation a per between your personal development. All of this information is like, this is about your personal development, your personal development within a relationship, your personal development within your career, within your job here within your work environment. So you guys are being called to assess the situation, but step up and lead Capricorn energy. It is time for you guys to step up and lead and show the world the real you, your real talents and your real skills. Your real talents and your real skills here. I see you guys have a lot of weight here, a lot of weight. Show me this resilience. So we have be humble. Leo energy and release your block. Scorpio energy. Hmm. Leo energy is all about, yes, humble. But it's people pleasing as well. It's going towards everything very passion, like passion energy. Releasing your blocks. I feel like this is about you guys chasing after something personal. Again, there's some personal developments here. Chasing after your wishes, your wishes and your dreams. 
and releasing here whatever blocks you, whatever blocks you may have. Now, this is a weight here that you have on your back. This is responsibilities that you have, you have attained, you have obtained, but a lot of it isn't even yours. A lot of it isn't even yours here. Bottom of the deck, trust the universe. Trust the universe. Give me a sec, guys. All right. Let's see. Let's get into this energy and see what's going on. Show me what's going on with my Virgo spirit. So we have this King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy that popped on out in the reverse here. Hmm. Strength, Leo energy coming through. You know, the King of Swords is someone of authority. Using their authority, but using their wit. This is a very witty person. This is a very intelligent person. But using it not for the greater good here. Not for the greater good. The King of Swords is also someone here that's a little nasty. You know, you know this is somebody that will cuss you out. This is somebody that will try to use the information and the knowledge that they have. This is mental, mental manipulation. Like somebody playing, playing with the mind here. But you know, the, the King of Swords is like what it's like the, the consumption of information playing, playing a trick on you. That's what that energy is all about. Like your mind playing a trick on you. And your spirit guides are wanting you to be strong here. Your spirit guides are wanting you guys to be strong with that strength energy. Because right now, present moment, some of you guys, you may feel like your mind is kind of playing a trick on you here. Or you may be dealing with somebody here. And this person, instead of them helping you or trying to lift you up, they're somewhat bringing you down because that person, King of Swords is a downer, especially the King of Swords in the reverse. The King of Swords in the reverse is somebody here that you're having beef with, somebody here that you're having a problem with. And, and this could be you or this could be somebody else. But the King of Swords is somebody when it's like if you have a problem with the King of Swords, this person's nasty. This person is, is, is very aggressive. You know, this is somebody that's very aggressive and they force their aggression. They force their way in. And I feel like right now, present moment, a lot of you guys are needing to stand your ground. You're really and truly needing to stand your ground. Even if it's your mental anguish, even if it's you feeling like your mind's playing tricks on you right now, present moment, even if you feel like, like you don't know where this energy is coming from, because some of you guys right now, present moment, Yes, this King of Swords could be you where you, you may be saying things and you don't know why you're saying it or you're doing things and you don't know why you're doing it. You're aggravated and you're stressed out and your mind is wandering and you, don't, and you may not understand why. Yeah, why is this King of Swords here for my Virgos? Three of Pentacles. Okay, so because something's not working out the way that you want it to. You're trying to accomplish something and you're trying to master something here. You're also trying to work with someone else and there and there it's it's all a very aggravating situation for you. Like you're some of you guys you're trying to save something. You're trying to save something. You're trying to master something. And it's a feeling of someone else not wanting to work with you. Two of pentacles. Yeah, you're trying to balance some things out. I feel like you guys are trying to balance something out and it feels like somebody's not trying to work with you. Four of cups, yeah. 
And it's like, this could be like a job or a career where you're trying to do your job. You know, some of you guys, you know, it's like you're trying to do your job here, even though you're not satisfied, even though you're kind of bored here. But this is like being in a work environment and everybody's kind of pissing you off. And you may find yourself doing things or saying things that you wouldn't normally do, but it's a reaction to the way that you feel. You know, you feel like someone's lying to you. You feel like somebody's not wanting to work with you. You feel like somebody's going against you. So this is your mind going straight. This is, this is fight or flight energy. So some of you guys right now, present moment, you may be in that type of environment where it's fight. It's like you're fighting for your life. You're fighting for your job. You're fighting for a position here or you're fighting, you're fighting to, there's a fight here. Energy that's coming through six of cups. Some of you guys, you're wandering down memory lane right now, present moment. You're wandering down memory lane right now, present moment. Two of pentacles again. You got some decisions that need to be made. You guys have some decisions that need to be made here because there's an environment here. Death, look at that, Scorpio energy. There's an environment here that... You're, you're somewhat bored, the hangman, Pisces energy. Hmm. Wow, I feel like you're holding on to something that is not for your greatest and your highest good. And I'm saying it like that because I feel like you guys, you know... This is that King of Swords. I keep feeling like this is your energy more than it is someone else's energy. You're wasting. Some of you guys may feel like you're wasting your skills and your talents. You may feel like you're limiting yourself. You may have gone to college and you're not even using the education that you paid for. You know, or like, you know, there's something here about are you smarter than this? You're better than this. You know, you may be in something right now, present moment, as I'm looking at 22, 22 on the clock, where you feel a sense of stagnation and you're pissed in, in the situation. The whole situation is pissing you off. The whole situation is pissing, pissing you off because you're not able to do what you know that you can truly do. You know, you're not able to do the things that you really and truly like you can't master a certain skill or you're somewhere right now present moment where you're never get where you want to go you're never going to get where you want to go because you're working with the wrong people you're working in the wrong environment or you're dealing with somebody that don't want to that they don't really bring anything to the table or or you and these people don't even align with each other like the journey that you're on right now present moment it's not the same journey that they're on and that's why that nourishment here is here. And that's why whatever you're trying to manifest, the only way it's coming into fruition is by what you're consuming. And some of you guys, you're within an unhealthy environment right now, present moment. Hmm. Show me more, Spirit. Show me what's going on with my Virgos. Oh, we have the world here. Again, it's, it's about manifesting a new, a new life. But it's also about where you want to be. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy is where you want to be. You guys are trying to manifest a life where you are this Queen of Pentacles, where all of your hard work, all of your hard work, everything that you're trying to manifest, you know, there, there's an abundance here. The Queen of Pentacles is very abundant. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is a wife, is a husband. The Queen of Pentacles has children, has a family. You know, the Queen of Pentacles, all of the Queen of Pentacles hard work pays off. And I feel like you guys are a ways from that right now, present moment. There's some unfinished business here. You're not quite where you want to be. And a lot of you guys, wherever you're at, there's you're unsatisfied, you're bored and you're over it. You're unsatisfied, you're bored and you're over it here. Show me more spirit. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. You know, this is waiting for the pay raise that you want, waiting for the promotion, waiting for someone to see what you bring to the table, waiting for reciprocity, 
waiting for this relationship, whatever the relationship is, to move on to something higher, move on, move towards something stable, more stable, moving something to the next level. Because I feel like a lot of you guys right now, present moment, it's like you're, it's like you, you don't see the next level here, bottom of the deck, the sun, which leads to your happiness which truly leads to your happiness. But I also feel like there's an illumination here. I feel like right now, present moment, a lot of you guys, there's an illumination where you're seeing something for what it is, three of swords, you know, but there is some fear here. You know, some of you guys, there's interference. There's someone else that's interfering with you reaching, you getting what you really and truly want. Some of you guys, there's healing here. Two of Pentacles. You have to make a decision. You have some decisions that need to be made for your greatest and your highest good. Show me, Spirit. Show me what's going on with my Virgos. The Tower, Scorpio energy. You guys are about to experience a Tower moment. Eight of Wands. It's coming in fast. This is like someone coming. Someone coming in for reinforcement. You know, some of you guys, there may be somebody in your life, they know you better than you know yourself or they know you, but there's a shakeup here that's about to happen and it's coming in fast. Unexpectedly, there's an upheaval here. Unexpectedly, there's a shakeup that's about to happen in your life and it's coming in fast and some of you guys is coming in from a distance. Like this is like somebody being like, if you can't come to me, I'm coming to you. Or this is like somebody that's so far from you that knows that you need some help. And they're coming in to help you, to aid you. Some of you guys, you need someone here. This person's coming in just to shake things up just a bit. To push you outside of your comfort zone. To push you into the direction that you need to go. Yeah. Five of Wands. Hmm. This also talks about travel. Like some of you guys, there may be some delays in travel here. But then all of a sudden... Things change. All of a sudden, things change. Show me, Spirit. Show me what's going on. The chariot, yeah. Some of you guys are taking a trip. You see, but also this talks about a breakthrough here. You know, this also talks about a breakthrough here. Whatever is coming in hot and heavy, whatever this surprise is, whatever this news is that's coming in, Whatever this shakeup is that's coming in, whatever this tower moment is, it's coming in hot and heavy to break to break the walls, like to break through here. The magician, Gemini, Virgo energy for whatever you're trying to bring into fruition, whatever you're trying to manifest here, because you guys are coming outside of the darkness into the light. And I see where you guys are manifesting a breakthrough here and there's some type of shakeup that's about to happen and it's going to push you further into that direction and it's coming in hot and heavy some of you guys this could be news communication or someone traveling towards you show me more knight of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn energy slow and steady eight of pentacles all right so there's a breakthrough here with your work with what you've been working on it's taking some time because there's slow and steady progression here Eight of Pentacles, though. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Okay. So there's some slow and steady progression on whatever it is that you've been working on. Your diligence. Your diligence. Your devotion. Because the night is all about action. The night is all about action. And it's the night goes into a battle. A battle to make things better. To make things better in their life. And I feel like whatever this shakeup is, whatever this tower moment is that's coming through, it's pushing you to take action. Whatever this shakeup is, it's pushing you into action. Show me more, spirit. King of Wands. I've seen the Queen and the King of Wands. And some of you guys, it's a relationship. Two of Wands. To make a decision surrounding a relationship. Some of you guys, you're having to make a decision surrounding a relationship or some of you guys, you're being pushed into a direction to become your own boss, to become an entrepreneur 
or start some type of side hustle or a business here. But this is about you guys being courageous. You guys are a leader. Yeah, your spirit guides are wanting you guys to step up and lead. Your spirit guides are wanting you guys to step up and lead. And there's a shake up here. King of Cups. Some of you guys, you have a choice between two people. Oh, wow. The Magician and the Page of Wands. Gemini, Virgo, Energy, Page of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Hmm. See, everything, that, I feel like this has to do with your skill sets, your resources as well, your power. The power is in your hands. You guys are great manifestors right now, present moment. And whatever this tower moment is, it is causing a shakeup, but it's shaking something inside of you. It's you may be in stagnation. You may be in your comfort, a comfortable place, and it's taking you out of your comfortable, comfortable place. Whatever this is, it is, you know, this is starting new, starting new, this new passion project, starting all over again, starting from the bottom page of wands. You know, this is about you guys starting from the, from the bottom, but you're, but you're in your creative zone. You're in your passion zone. You're in your zone here. See, it's pushing you guys to your zone, pushing you guys towards what it is that you're trying to bring into fruition here. You know, even if it's a relationship here, I just kind of feel like it's pushing your life into a direction here. It's like you say you want to live a life of abundance. You say you want to live a life of abundance. So there's a tower moment here. There's a, there's a shakeup that's about to happen here. That's going to push you in that direction. That's going to truly, truly push you into that direction. Some of you guys, it's you having to make a decision between, between a relationship with more than one person. You may be in between this. Some of you guys, the in-between world here is a world. I don't know why I got a slavery and a freedom. Some of you guys, you may be a slave to a system. And this is actually bring, sending you towards freedom. Still working the system, but working the system free. There's a freedom energy here as well. Yeah, so what's your advice for my Virgo spirit? What's your advice for my Virgos? Hmm. Trust what you need is there. It says with love, all can be accomplished. Trust what you need is there because again, we saw the magician. You guys have, you guys have all the power. You guys have all the skills, all the talents. Trust what you need is there with love. All can be accomplished because I'm also getting someone coming in to shake some things up, but you need to be put in an uncomfortable situation to push you a little bit further. Massive energy. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Know that I love and appreciate every last one of you guys. And I hope you have such a wonderful day. Bye, guys.